In his segmented run, Maxim combined several of the most difficult tricks in a stretch that is now possible to use in RTA runs. Maxim's nade route first requires you to lose about 10 from the 30 armor you collected before the elevator. For health management reasons you then need to get the edge off the roof, clear the hallway of hound eyes before doing a jump back down the electricity elevator pit. Instead of using the circle tram in the reactor room, you can then grenade jump right to the ladder before activating the reactor itself. During the next edge bug, you additionally boost sliding off the button to get an instant 700 speed. After using all 50 HP from the health recharger, you then have to perform a thrown grenade jump to the next level. First of all, it is necessary to clear the hallway because you can't touch the electric water. When approaching the pit, you lower FPS jumping onto the metal crates. With 20.40816 FPS necessary for the jump bug to work, you won't be able to consistently jump with a scroll wheel anymore. With this FPS value, however, you will keep your speed for longer when sliding over the ground, so you can jump with a precise key press. Since this jump will happen right on the frame necessary to get within two units above the ground before the jump bug, it is necessary having about 500 UPS to not even touch the railing and to maintain a continuous fall. You circle down the pit and shortly before the ground press plus duck and plus attack to charge up a grenade for later use. When reaching the frame about two units above the ground, you press plus jump and minus duck at the same time to perform the jump bug. Immediately, you turn back to FPS max 100 to continue the chain. When not having enough speed, you want to use a 4 FPS manipulation to save you from getting a second radiation damage tick. After that, you perform a precise grenade jump with 16 to 18 armor. Compared to a standard route, this grenade jump saves about 6 seconds. Counting in the 5 seconds time loss from the full health recharge with 50 HP you need to continue later, the possible time save with this strategy is about 1 second. When performing the button slide off, you set it up like the standard edge bug. The specialty about this one is to not edge off the top, but to get an additional slide off the lower part of the button. When getting the slide boost, you then need to make it over the step next to the button, which is only possible by doing the slide off standing and then immediately applying plus duck and FPS max 100 to continue the chain. This button slide off can also be performed when standing next to the second reactor button, but will be slower since you have less falling speed to be translated into the boost. The thrown grenade jump has multiple setups, some more stable than others. This is just one way to start the grenade charge with the load and organizing it with a movement pattern at the wall, using it like a track. Maxim's nade route is arguably the hardest strategy currently conceivable in the game. While it might not be fit for use for most of the runners, it is a nice showcase of how sophisticated chaining in Half-Life can get.